here I am near a 18th century mansion house, also next to a church, which you can see behind me. This field here that I'm hunting in today in the snow is used yearly for a fair, but um, I'm hoping to pull some old coins up from here as well. And I've just got a decent signal. It's reading at about 10 inches. It's jumping a little bit towards the top right hand side of the screen and the bottom, but um, give it a dig and have a look and see what's in. Very good, that's our first coin within a minute of being here. George the sixth penny. Because of the conditions, the snow and the ice, making the machine freak out a little bit, I'm going really slow to pick up the signals. Still got the big coil on, and in such a trashy area, you normally wouldn't go with a big coil, but I want to get down to the deep, old coins. So I'm sticking with the deep pasture settings, but I'm going really slow. I've slowed it right down. And here there's a really nice signal. Reading 14.42. Well, 1544, 1442, it's bouncing up and down a little bit, but it's going to get dug. It says it's quite deep, so that's a good sign. That's a bottle top. They give some cracking signals, but you've got to dig them. There's a nice signal reading 1240, and this hopefully looks like a little coin ball. It is. There we've got Elizabeth II half penny. This was an extremely bouncy signal, and it looks like we've got a coin ball, hopefully. Definitely a ball, and there's something in here. It's a modern half penny, and that was a good eight, nine inches under the ground. This one's reading a steady 12.33. Uh, it looks like we've got something made out of lead here. It's definitely got something on it. I'm gonna to have to wash it. Don't know what it is. I'll have to wash that and have a look at the end. This one's reading is 12.35. And it's a half penny of George V. This one's reading 12.39. And it's very shallow, which is never a good sign when you're looking for old coins. Yeah, unless it's a pound, at least I can spend that one. One pound coin. This one's reading 12.39, and we've got a coin ball at about eight inches. And that's a modern penny. This is reading 12.40. And by the looks of it, we've got a big coin ball there. And it's an old penny. Well, oh, that's in good condition. I don't know whether you can make that out, but it's in very good condition. George V. It's got a lovely patina on it. This is reading 12.44, at about six inches or so. Looks like another coin ball. Hopefully it isn't the modern one. It is a modern one. Two pence. 
This one's reading 1232. At about six inches or so. Oops, and it's another old penny. Sorry, half penny. Let's see another George the Fifth one. This is reading 1245 at approximately six inches or so. Hopefully it won't be another two pence. Ah, it's a half penny. Elizabeth the second. This is reading 1239 and it's stuck in the permafrost. And it's another pound coin. Here's another one reading 1240. And looks like I've got a spoon. Yep, definitely a spoon. What the hell is it? Actually, it looks like a silver spoon. Yep, it's definitely hallmark on the back there. Yep, silver spoon. That's well, the first silver spoon I've ever found, believe it or not. At about eight, nine inches deep. Well, looking at the time, I think my two hours are up. So this is gonna be the last dig. It's a coin ball at about four or five inches. And it looks like a modern penny, it is. Well, that wasn't a bad two hour hunt. Found a few coins, some of them oldish. A nice silver spoon, which is good, pretty good size. It's all marked, so I'm expecting it's sterling silver, which is the first one of them I found, which is amazing considering how many things I've dug about of the ground. That's the first silver spoon I found. It's been a while since I've had silver, as many of the viewers who watch my videos regularly will know, but before I went out, I said a special prayer, which I've never done before, asking for silver. And it seems to have worked. I'm not going to show you what that prayer was, because uh, it's a bit embarrassing, but I'm going on a hunt uh, around an old castle on Sunday in two days' time. I'm expecting to find silver there, possibly old hammered silver. If I don't find it, somebody certainly will. I'll take the video camera, that should make a great video, and at the end of that video, I'll put the prayer on, and you can all have a good laugh. Not only did I find a few coins, but I also completed the trifecta of getting wet, cold, and dirty, which I haven't done for a while. So that's a bonus. Not for my wife, though. I think I'll just bung all my clothes in the washing machine before she gets back. I'm on my way home now, so I'll give a quick wash to all the stuff that I've found, spread it out, and let you have a look. Well, that's a sum total of a two hour hunt. There's actually quite a lot now that I come and have a look at it. We've got modern rubbish here, including three pound coins. There's a threepenny bit, which is a 12 sided coin. And there's a funny shaped coin here, which I think is Indian. That's a two shilling piece from uh, Elizabeth II. Again, just made of rubbish. All these are just made of rubbish. These are old half pennies. These are old pennies. This is the lead thing that I found. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be anything interesting. Two letters on there. Really, because I don't know what it means. It um, would probably be better for me if I had tea in the middle of them too, because that sums up what I think of that bit. This is the spoon. It's a reasonable size spoon. A little bit of weight to it. Definitely silver. We've got a hallmark here. If I can just zoom in on that. It's got G and then a lion and then WS. No idea what that means but um, it's certainly an old spoon. It's pretty deep as well. So that's the silver for today which is unusual because I've never had a silver spoon before. So that really made the hunt worthwhile. Thanks for watching.